So previously we have discussed A085 microprocessor, its architecture, it interrupts and uh, pin configuration, etc. So we have we are here going to discuss about the microprocessor that is A086, a little bit advanced of A085. As we know, A085 is an 8-bit microprocessor, whereas A086 is a 16-bit microprocessor. So the registers which we use here is completely 16-bit registers. So we now we are going to discuss about the architecture of A086. Basically, the architecture is divided into two main units, that is execution unit and the bus interface unit so first of all let us discuss about the execution unit and what are the registers and blocks or covers in this execution unit so execution unit gives the instructions to the bus interfacing unit stating from where to fetch the data and then decode and execute those instructions its function is to control the operations on the data using the instruction decoder and ALU execution unit has no direct connection connection with the system but buses and it performs operations over the data through the bus interface unit and let us now discuss about the functional parts so basically uh, we we know that alu that is arithmetic logic unit the same arithmetic and operate logical operations performed in the 8085 like uh, addition subtraction multiplications divisions and logicals and uh, data transfers etc and next comes the flag registers as we know this is a 16 bit uh, microprocessor the flag register is also 16 bit that behaves like a flip flop and it changes its status according to the results stored in the accumulator it has nine flags and they are divided into two groups that is mainly conditional flags and the control flags so let us discuss about the con conditional flag it represents the results of the last arithmetic and logical instructions executed Following the list of the conditional flag, first one is carry flag. This flag indicates an overflow condition for the automatic operations. And next is an auxiliary flag. When an uh, operation is performed at the ALU, it results in the carry or borrow from the low end nipple. And next comes your parity flag. And this is used to indicate the parity of the result. And continued by the zero flag, like it. Uh, it is set 1 when the re result of the arithmetic or logical operation is 0 or else it is set to 0. And next comes the sign flag and this is the holds the sign of the result. And over flag, this uh, flag represents the result of the when the system capacity is exceeded. And next you can see the control flag. So we have a list of control flags like trap flag. It is used to, for a single step uh, control and allows the user to execute one instruction at a time for debugging. And next comes your interrupt flag and uh, direction flag. And after the flag register, we are going to discuss about the general purpose register. There are eight general purpose registers like uh, starting from A, H, A, L, A, higher, high, A, lower and followed by B, H, B, L, C, H, C, L and D, H, T, L. And we com combined together, we can form it as a 16 bit. Whereas AX, BX, CX and DX combined, they are going to act as an accumulator register, BX for the base register and CX for the counter and DX for the uh, used to hold the input output address or the instructions. And stack pointer register, it is a 16-bit register which holds the address of the address from the start of the segment to the memory location and next we are going to discuss about the bus interface unit so in the execution unit we have flag registers and general purpose registers and alu and in bus interface unit it takes care of all the address and data transfers from the bus for the execution unit like sending addresses switching instructions from the memory and reading data from the ports and memory as well as writing the data to the ports and the memory etc so here we have the following function parts like instruction queue and segment register you can see the uh, we have BIU gets the six byte of uh, instruction and stores them in the instruction queue. So we have up to six bytes of instruction. We can store it in the queue. And next is the fetching the next instruction while the current instruction execute is called as pipelining. So we have instruction queue where six bytes of instructions can be stored and the each instruction is fetched uh, sequentially. And this is called as pipelining. And next we have the segment register. Uh, it has four segments like uh, CS, DS. 
वैसे ये इज फॉर कोर सेगमेंट डी एस इज फॉर डेटा सेगमेंट एंड एस फॉर दैक सेगमेंट एंड डी एस फॉर द एक्स्ट्रा सेगमेंट and we have the instruction pointer this is a 16 bit register used to hold the address of the next instructions to be executed so this is the complete architecture of a085 as we have discussed we have uh, two parts that is executive unit and bus interface unit in the executive unit you can see we have a general purpose registers where it covers the stack pointers and etc we have log arithmetic and logic unit and we have flags and uh, these uh three major units are connected to the bus interface unit where we have this segment like we can see es cs ds etc and we have an option for the memory interfacing and here you can see we have the instruction queue we can store up to six byte of instructions so this is the complete architecture of 8086 in the next lecture we can discuss about the pin configuration of 8086 thank you